Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. Uh, I've got baby chicks hatching. It was a warm day. It was like 75 and sunny. I attempted to turn my air conditioning on for a brief moment, but it's nice and cool now. Uh, sun is almost ready to go down, but let's take a look at some of the stuff I was up to today. Mr. Grumpy is home before dark, although it looks like he's leaving. Oh, yeah, yep, you're off of the property now. Come back home before dark, Grumpy. Yes, I have baby chicks. One of them hatched last night, a bunch more hatched today. I put them in on, a, today's Thursday, I put, I put them in on a Thursday night late after dark. So uh, these were early, 21 day incubation period for, uh, for chicks, but you can get them as early as 18, 19 days. And uh, some of them will go 24, 25 days. It depends on the breed of the chicken. Uh, the temperature can affect that, all kinds of stuff can affect that. But uh, pretty good so far. I have five of the six eggs I had in there of my black and blue copper morons. Five out of six of those eggs hatched. So very happy with that. Started out with 10 eggs and four of them just didn't develop right. So I'll take five out of 10 on the, on the black and blue copper uh, morons. Uh, those came out of the flock. I have two black copper morons roosters. I have seven black copper morons hens. And until last night, I had that blue and the splash copper morons hens in there also. Uh, but I moved them. You'll see that in a minute. Uh, starting to shuffle my flocks around. But yeah, so now now when I hatch their eggs, I'll be 100% sure they're uh, black copper morons. There won't be any blues or splashes in there. And that's one of the things I'm doing to separate my flocks is I'll have a, I'll have a, a black copper morons only flock. And then I'll have a, probably two flocks that are, can be blue, black, or splash copper morons. Yeah. Uh, the other baby chicks, there are seven of the Easter eggers that have hatched. Um, Larry's other brother, Daryl, uh, is the father. And he's three and a half years old. I've hatched many of his kids and raised many of his kids. Uh, he has been a fine, fine father. I wish I had like 10 acres so I could build a big old coop with a, you know, in a pasture and move around. I'd have Larry, his brother, Daryl, and his other brother, Daryl, all in one flock with like 20 hens. And, uh, and uh, they could, you know, live happily ever after producing a colorful variety of white and true blue hens. So maybe someday I'll get to that. They're getting older, though. I better get on it. Uh, yeah, I did some chicken shuffling last night, and I tested another hen to see what color, what shade of green egg she laid. Yeah, pretty much bedtime. Uh, that one right there with the bronze chest and 
white ears. That's the one that I brought in last night to test what color egg she lays. So I brought her in here to test her out and I started moving a flock in here. The rest of these girls are, there are five blue copper morons and the one in the back is a white splash, a splash of copper morons. And there's another blue one right there. So this is mainly going to be a copper morons flock. I'm going to put my blue copper morons rooster in here. He'll have five blue copper morons hens and one splash. So I started moving in. Uh, they all lay uh, dark brown eggs, I hope. In fact, I got two today. Whereas the one I was testing out, she laid a green egg. And I lucked out and she laid me an egg today. Did you lay me an egg? I got two pretty brown eggs. Oh, I might have gotten three, huh? I haven't checked. Should I check for another egg? These guys are... You notice how the one yesterday was all freaking out? Well, it's, it's late in the evening for chickens. But these marins, marons, however you want to say it, they are calm, friendly birds. I am really enjoying them, and I like the blue color too. Yes, I do. A little bit different shades of blue. You want to get up top for the night? Yeah, you do. Everybody likes being on the top, top roost bar. All right, five nights in a row. I've tested five hens, and all five of them have laid an egg the very next day. So that helps out. And I've got one more hen I want to... Uh, test out tonight see what shade of green she is laying but we are good on this front and then I'll start moving the rest of the flock in here those are the three eggs I got out of that new uh, chicken coop two of the Morans and one of those blue copper Morans laid this dark green or dark brown egg so I like that typically the black copper Morans will lay the darker eggs like that one and the blue and splash will lay a little bit lighter. And this is the girl's egg that I was testing out today. I should put it down. And it's uh, unique. It's got different shades of green on it. A little bit of speckling. Pretty cool egg. And that's my egg haul before I left for town. Went into town and got uh, chicken feed and gas for the Suburban. And there's uh, these. I've got six flocks. I had six flocks. Now I got seven. So I'm going to have to come up with something else because I can. Uh, each row is one of my flocks. So I know these came from flock one and two and three and four and five and six. And now those are from seven. So. Yeah, nice, uh, nice Welsomer egg. Lots of le nice Welsomer eggs today. That one, and I don't know if you can see this really tiny speckling on it. And another nice Welsomer egg. And one of my darker Moran's eggs. You can kind of see the different shades. Rainbow of colors up in here. Oh, Bob's in pounce mode. You see Grumpy over there? I see Grumpy over there. I do, I see Grumpy. See, he just blends in with everything. That's why I never see him during the day. There's Grumpy. He's hunting for something. It is almost dark, so I probably better get going. Um, yeah, I went to town today. I got six bags of chicken feed and uh, five gallons of gas. And my shoulders are tired. <laughs> oh, so I might take it a little bit easier tomorrow. That's okay. Bob's coming out to greet me. Uh, we'll let him him and uh, Grumpy sign off. Grumpy should be back any minute now. It's almost dark. Grumpy takes off first thing in the morning. Although over the winter, he, uh, and Fifi, Fifi's hibernated in my cabin all winter long. 
uh, she found my chair and yeah, what my formerly clean underwear <laughs> was comfortable for. So yeah, so I don't I don't get any uh, shots of Fifi sleeping on my formerly clean underwear. Right, Bob? That would be rude. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, it's hatching season. I got my first hatch. Um, they'll be available, well, they might not. They might already be gone. But I'll have more coming next weekend also. And so stay tuned for that. Uh, can't think of anything else to tell you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Take it easy, everybody. There you go. That's what Fifi's been doing all winter long, right in that spot. It's almost time to stop hibernating, Fifi. The weather's getting nice.